Fusion fam, it's Alicia and Michelle, and I'm back with another review. Today, I'm gonna to be reviewing Switzerland's entry for the 2021 Eurovision Song Contest. Hey, Eurovision fam, it's Alicia and Michelle. I'm watching DC. Music can be feeling and fireworks. I got a new video, I got a new video. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. You know it, I made it. Hey. Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm ready to go. Eurovision fam, are you ready for the show? <laughs> I got a new video. I got a new video. Switzerland could win. Switzerland could win. Switzerland could win. Um, look, I'm not just saying this because it's high in the betting odds. I'm saying it because the minute that I heard it, I was like, oh, this could win. Switzerland had one of my favorite songs last year. Switzerland's song was actually probably my top most played song, but it was on my Eurovision Selects playlist. So I was definitely checking for Switzerland this year, but I will say this, I love Switzerland's entry last year. Like I said, it was my most played song from last year, but I had a lot of people kind of tell me like, oh, you know, maybe it was just too low key. Maybe it was a little bit too artsy and, and that maybe televoters at home wouldn't really get it. That maybe the song wasn't that accessible for them. Well, this year, I think the song is still great. It's still good. And I'm biased because I did like the song last year. And so I think that uh, Gion's Cheers is really staying true to, you know, their sound. I think that this is definitely the sound that they have and they're staying true to it. They're not necessarily giving us anything different than last year, to be honest. This is very much so the music that they make. And, and I kind of feel, I don't know the difference between last year and this year, but it seems like everyone is kind of in the space that I was in last year where I honestly thought Switzerland had the opportunity to possibly win last year. I, I definitely thought that they were in sort of that winner potential mode last year, but maybe it's we've been all stuck inside. Um, but there is something about this song that just instantly hit me. And I think because of that instant hit, it hit other folks and, and maybe the song last year wasn't instant for folks, as instant as the song this year is. I won't lie, I have seen kind of the comparisons to Arcade with this song. I do think that this song and Arcade are cousins. I don't think that they sound the same per se, but they're cousins. They, they live, I think, in the same Sonic universe. And here's the thing, I've mentioned this in other videos, but we rarely see like kind of repeat songs winning. So like if like Toy was like a female anthem and then the year after that we have like a whole bunch of upbeat female anthems, they're not gonna win. We rarely see kind of two songs in a row winning that are in the same universe. It typically is something a little bit more different from the previous winner. But I wonder if things are different because technically we didn't have Eurovision last year. So I wonder if that changes things where people might go, well, we sort of didn't have a winner last year. So that's like a blank slate and maybe we can kind of kick off and Switzerland has the opportunity to win. Look, I think that if this song won, I'd be happy about it. I love everything about it. I think on stage it's gonna be delivered well. I, I I think with the staging, they're gonna be smart. Last year, I know Switzerland was going to go with Sasha uh, to stage the song. And I think that if they decide to work with Sasha again this year, this is definitely in her realm of things that I think she does well with interpreting on the stage. This song, honestly, all they have to do at this point is just not like F it up. <laughs> I mean, really, it's like people love the song. People think that it could possibly win. And so now here's the challenge that whatever you do on stage, you know, you just can't do anything too much to like jack it up. You just can't do too much, you know? And, and I think some people go like with Arcade and I, I think about Arcade and some people are like, oh, well they could mess it up with the staging. No, really all you have to do is if you've already got all that momentum with your song, if you've already got all of this momentum for your song, all you have to do is really kind of play it safe on stage. This is like the one opportunity where you're allowed to like play it safe on stage because playing it safe is better than doing too much. Because if you've already got all this hype and buzz, all you need to do is just not do anything to piss people off. <laughs> all you have to do is not do something that will distract people. I think about uh, Italy with Occidentalis Karma 
And so that was 2017. You know, what they ended up doing on stage was too much. What they did on stage was too much. They should have just done what they had done in the music video. You know, they should have just played it safe on stage, to be honest, but they didn't play it safe on stage. They really like went all out on stage. So with Switzerland, their challenge is keep it simple, play it safe. Because the song itself is so strong, it's standing out. And I could see televoters because I got that Im immediate hit when I first listened to it. And that's all you need, I think, for televoters. And I, I can't see juries just downgrading this. I really can't. I wish I could say more about this, but I think what Switzerland is offering is a really good solid package and it could win <laughs> and it would deserve to win. So that was my review. What do you think? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you agree with my review? Talk to me in the comments below. Do you disagree? That's okay too. Talk to me in the comments below. This is a conversation and you know it. I'm so excited for your vision 2021. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe because I got so much content coming for you. Bye.